Astrid in Verona, Italy. Some of Lord Montagu and Lord Capulet's servants are fighting and shopping. We hate the Montagues. Capulet is a better lord than Montagu. We'll kill you for that. Death the cap to the Capulets. Then Voyo enters. What's happening? Stop! Stop fighting! He tries to stop them, but they go on fighting. Entering. Benvolio, what are you doing? Fighting our servants? Turn and fight me. You wrong people. I don't want to fight anyone. I'm just trying to keep the peace. That's not true. You, you Montagues are all the same. I'm going to kill you. He pulls out his sword and starts fighting with Benvolio. Lord and Lady Capulet enter. Look, the Montagues are trying to kill Tibal. Quickly, bring me a sword. A sword? Don't be stupid, Capulet. You're too old. You haven't used a sword for 20 years. Entering with Lady Montague. Look, the Capulets are making trouble again. What did you say, Montague? Trouble? The man that started the fight was you? Nephew Bimbolio. He starts to shake Lord Montague. Let me go, Capulet, you old criminal. Criminal? Old? I'll kill you. They begin fighting. Princess Calius enters. Stop, Montague. Capulet. Stop it immediately. Tybalt, Benvolio. Stop fighting now, or I'll execute all of you. The fighting stops, and everyone is quiet. Listen, I'm very angry. Verona is a rich, beautiful town, but there is fighting in the streets nearly every day. Montague, Capulet, come here. You must tell your families to stop fighting. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Why is there this argument between your families? How did it start? I can't remember, sir. The argument started a long time ago, sir. A goat. The fighting must stop. We must have peace in Verona. Princess Calius leave. Then Lord and Lady Capulet, Tibor, and all the servants leave. The Capulet's house. The party has started, and there is music singing and dancing. Lord and Lady Capulet, Juliet, Tibor, Paris, the nurse, servants, musicians, and others are at the party. Enjoy yourselves, my friends. Everybody is going to dance tonight. More light, more rings. Play Lord. We're going to have a wonderful party. Romeo, Benvolio, and Mercutio enter. They are wearing masks. Who are those men who've just come in? I, I can't see their face because they are wearing masks. I don't know who they are. It doesn't matter. They look, they look friendly. Give me a, give me another drink. What's a wonderful party? Party. Oh, why, why can't I be young again? Shall we dance? Dance? Don't be stupid. Catch me. You too old. You haven't danced for twenty years. Come and sit down for a while. Don't you want to dance, Romeo? No, I don't, Mercutio. You can dance if you want. I'll wait here. Benvolio and Mercutio leave and start dancing. He sees Juliet, who is dancing with Paris. What a beautiful girl. Who is she? I must meet her. When she stops dancing, I'll go to talk to her. Uncle Capulet. That man is a Montague. Which man? The man who came in a few minutes ago. Over there. The man who wearing a mask. I know his voice. His name is Romeo and he's a Montague. I'm going to kill you. No, Tibor. The cap the Capulets and the Montagues must not fight anymore. The Prince of Verona told us to stop fighting. Don't you remember? Romeo is a good man and you mustn't hurt him. Do you understand? All right, uncle, but I'm very angry. 
he was wrong to come here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know your name. I saw you, you just a few minutes ago. I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I've never seen anyone as beautiful as you. Can I hold your hand? But I don't know you. Nothing. Yes, of course. You can hold my hand. He holds her hand. If your hands can touch, or lips can touch too. He kisses her. The nurse enters. Juliet, where are you? Oh, there are you. Um, home. Your mother wants want you. Come with me, my dear. To the nurse. Who is her mother? Her mother is the lady of the house and married to Lord Caplet. This is terrible. Lord Caplet is my father's enemy. Father's enemy. I love Juliet, but we can never meet again. What? No. Watching Romeo leave. No. What's that young man's name? Over there, the only who's living. If he has a wife, I be unmarried. His name is Rom Romeo, and he's a Montague, the only so son of your family's great enemy. My only love, hated Montague. What was that? Come, Juliet, your mother is waiting.